Hey, what's up guys? Right now, I am out doing some Swanee alligator snapping turtle trapping. I'm the camera bag guy. We got some good looking turtles. And uh, so I'm bringing the camera bags down so I can shoot some photos. And part of the fun, oh my gosh, it's deep. Part of the fun is catching these turtles, shooting some photos, but also getting out and seeing all the other herps, all the other bycatch that shows up in traps. Uh, it's just, it's a really fun experience. So follow along. I'll show you some big alligator snapping turtles. I'll show you some other herps. And uh, also some really pretty, really cool habitat. I'm pretty stoked. I was able to sneak up on this loggerhead musk turtle because he has a blind eye on this side and a healthy eye on this side. This guy's gorgeous. Look at those colors. It's got like a peachy color kind of around the around the face. And then you see that black staining. That's because the bottom right now is covered in little acorns and musk turtles and other turtles like to eat acorns and other little nuts before going into uh, winter inactivity uh, because that's a great saturated fat. Uh, great for putting on weight before you're inactive for you know maybe months at a time. All right, so going to release this pretty little loggerhead musk turtle. I'm guessing he wants to be somewhere near this tree because this is where I found him. Look at that. These guys can just disappear on the bottom too. It's so cool. Just their colors and the tannins and everything just works together. So, we have a stalemate. All right, you can go. All right, here we go. Massive female Sewanee cooter. Let me get this gal in hand. Oh, come here. Oh. Here we go. Big, big basking turtle. These guys are beautiful. Look at those eyes. Beautiful eyes, beautiful shell. This turtle is very large. Definitely not the biggest one I've ever seen, but she is as big of a basking turtle as you'll ever see. Uh, here in the U.S. These guys are the largest native basking turtle. They used to be their own species, Pseudemys swaniensis, um, and then some genetic work was done, kind of bumped them down to being eastern river cooters. Uh, but they are different from river cooters in other parts of the river cooter range, and they're pretty uniform in the Suwannee River drainages in North Florida also. So, beautiful turtle. She is heavy. I'm going to let her feel more comfortable by going into her little hiding spot here, the base of this cypress tree. Really cool. I love seeing Sewanee cooters. All right, so this is perfect. We got another little cooter right here, and this almost looks like a male. It is, it is a male Sewanee cooter. You can see, we just saw the female who was much larger, but the male has those really long claws and they use those in courtship, kind of tickle the face of the female. And a lot of sliders and cooters will actually use the front nails um, as a form of courtship. Uh, but this guy's really pretty. That is a really nice male Suwannee cooter. That's a pretty heavy turtle. 70, 75. Oh. All right, so these guys are over here collecting data on a large male alligator snapping turtle. And that's part of what we're doing, just kind of tracking them, getting some information on them. And then if we catch them again, we see how far they've moved, how much they've grown, uh, but also just enjoying, look at that. And these big turtles, they're hiding in these log jams, these tree root masses, basically stuff that might, people might think is just trash or garbage areas of the river, but it's actually where most of the fauna is when you have like a sandy open river system like this. It's basically an underwater desert except for those log jams, those down trees, overhanging rocks, anything like that. And so that's kind of where these guys live. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, that's a piece of steak. Yeah, it's good that you're recording. It says you've got students this semester. I'm gonna pull you back a little bit to extend your feet. All right, Ben, can you talk about the importance of taking photos when you're out in the field? <laughs> now that you're on the spot, yeah. 
Uh, it's great to, you know, give the public, the general, like general public who don't even know these animals exist, to, uh, you know, make them more aware of the wildlife in their backyard, you know, conservation issues, um, their biology, their importance. It's just a good medium to um, provide messages to the general public. All right, so it's been a great trapping week so far. We got some big turtles, medium turtles, and even some smaller ones, uh, which has been really cool. We even got some ones that are a little bit different. We got a uh, kyphotic alligator snapping turtle, and that's kind of when the shell kind of, the structure in the spinal column of the shell kind of humps up, and with age, it kind of grows higher and higher, kind of gives them an interesting uh, kind of hump or tent shape. And uh, so that was kind of a neat turtle to find, and really almost like a one in a million find, because you don't really even see that hardly ever. And I've only seen, I think, two in the uh, um, alligator snapping turtles ever. Uh, so that was a really cool uh, kind of capture. We were really excited to see that. And now we're just kind of packing it up, moving on to the next spot. Head. Great. So I wanted to uh, share you with you guys uh, some of what I do when I'm alligator snapping, turtle trapping, um, and also looking for other herps while I'm out here. Uh, and if I had one takeaway, I'd like for you guys to uh, just appreciate different types of habitat. Even the stuff that sometimes doesn't seem like there's much there or is very appealing is always home to somebody. Uh, in this case, home to these very special turtles. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.